Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today's Friday and it's our Woodland Zoo. And today is actually the last episode of our Woodland Zoo. We are closing this zoo off and we are going to start a new one. I have some amazing ideas already. But for now, um, I will give you a tour to our Woodland Zoo. I'll start with an overlook view. This is everything we are going to be looking at today. As you see, it contains almost the entire map. It is quite large. But uh, you know what? We're just going to go for it. So we're going to start obviously at the front entrance. And I believe I can go into Tatchet Cam mode, which makes it very easy for me. There you go. So we're in Tatchet Cam mode. I'm going to press play. Ooh, look at all these people. This is definitely not Corona proof. Okay, so this is the entrance of our Woodland Zoo. You can see a lot of animals already here. It's all custom made. Everything in the zoo is custom made, by the way. Obviously, here we have some beautiful nature sites. We have a waterfall feature here. We can look at and the other side. We have this beautiful nature site. Obviously, people are lining up for the ATM. You can also just uh, chill and sit there. Then you have three or well, four entrances you can go and you can go through this one. You can see another beautiful waterfall on the other side. Some more beautiful nature. And then you can go here. You'll have this beautiful rock scenery. And here you have this little African scenery, which is actually quite pretty. I'm quite proud of it. So let's go into the entrance and let's uh, go right, obviously. Like, obviously, there is our first uh, habitat. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. We are going to go right first. On the right, we have an information stand. We have a hats fantastic little, uh, you know, chilling area. We have our st first star facility here as well, which I'm absolutely in love with. I mean, look how pretty with the smoke and actually behind here. It's a little waterfall. You can already hear it. Just absolutely love it. I feel like this is such an, a pretty zoo. A quarantine, obviously. And the other star facilities are actually at the other side of the park. No, but we will see that, um, well, you know, when we get back. So here we have our first habitat. We have the capuchin monkeys. I'm not sure if we can actually see them. Oh, there are there. Okay. Um, you know what? Let, let's uh, follow our busy visitor route. I mean, look how many people are here. Okay, let's just... Uh, can I go off? Ugh. So many people. Oh, there they are. Look! Isn't that pretty? Look how cute! Oh, this one's sleeping. Oh, they're playing! Ah, That's cute. I like that. So, the special thing about this capuchin monkey uh, habitat, there are quite a lot of monkeys in here. Everything, you know, all the play items, everything's handmade. And actually, when we go into the inside, and man, there are, there are a lot of people on this bridge. Look at this. This is insane, man. Let's let's pop a balloon. There you go. This is absolutely insane. They actually, um, oh, even more monkeys. Also waterfalls. There's a lot of waterfalls in this zoo. They also have this inside area. I hope that there are actually some monkeys in here. Not quite sure, I don't think there are. But they can actually climb everywhere, like literally everywhere up here. It's all traversable area, we hand make these stairs and I feel like it's absolutely pretty. And then, you know, um, people can just look here. They Sometimes they walk through this wall, like that lady there, she just walks through it, but that, you know, whatever. Let's uh, have an overlook for you of the capuchin monkey. There you go, capuchin monkey. It's Amanda. Ugh. Sorry, a lot of things. Oh, I could hear a baby being born. All of them on the outside, obviously. Here as well, more pictures of them. Obviously, with this lovely, lovely waterfall. Let's uh, see if we can get back into Tetchet Cam. I don't think we can. Let's just. Uh... There you go. So, okay, so we had the capuchin monkeys when we go up here. Ooh, lovely hats. We are actually going to go into this cave system. 
And from here you can actually still see the capuchin monkeys. Quite like it. I mean look you can still see them as the keepers well. Oh they're eating! Let's see if we can have a closer look at that. There they are. So cute. Oh more of them are coming. So actually this cave have this little uh, side holes or sideways and here you are actually at the llama habitats. So there's one of our llamas. Oh there's a lot of llamas. Oh look baby llamas. Oh and they're running. So cute. Oh, I really love the texture which they did on the llamas. Cute. There you go. Can I get up here? Oh no, I'm lost in the woods. Oops. Tetchet's cam is weird, man. Okay, I'm just going to ignore Tetchet's cam for now because, you know, I don't know how it works. So anyway, that was the first, uh, you know, side path of the llama habitat. Here's the second and here we can actually see our golden llama. We can see, like, not to feed the llamas. We have this fencing so the guests can't go over it. Oh, look, one of them is swimming. Now, the llama habitat is quite big. Also, waterfall in the middle. Let me give you an overlook view. They have all this, all natural barriers. Some glass there so they can't get out. They can go all the way up here. They actually have a little sleeping area here. And I wanted to make it look like it was all like this old temple. Which, uh, you know, comes in handy because if we go back to our road. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep following the road because otherwise I'm gonna get lost in my own zoo. And uh, we don't want that. There you go. Look at all these trees as well. So lovely. Some more capuchin monkeys, you know. You know the drill. So here you can actually choose to go that way. And let's see, a lot of people are choosing to go that way. Um, yeah, I personally wouldn't, but you know what? That's just me. So the environmental status says you can look into the inside habitat. And here we have our first uh, junction. So that way is back to the exit. Here we actually have our uh, West American bisons. And um, do I want to go into this habitat? I'm actually, I'm going to go into this habitat because I see like they have babies. Look. Ah, uh, you can actually hear them. Wow. These animals are so majestic and they don't really need a lot of space. That's good to have. Oh, they have four babies. Five. That's nice. Obviously, they also have this giant waterfall. They also have this giant habitat, like it's all this. We build a little arctic, um, you know, kind of get together for them or get away. Lovely, like remote, so the guests don't actually bother them there. And I absolutely love the way that this looks. All the different trees together as well. I have some arctic toilets there. There we go. We were here. So we have this big signs everywhere in the zoo so you can see if we go that way we're going to the red panda habitat the llamas the two llamas is actually the giant food court in the middle the jack and saltwater crocodile here is one as well but first let's uh let's go in here and we'll go do we gonna go in here yeah let's go in here i want to show you guys this i'm actually really proud of this look when i'm working on the habitat or the the gate i hope you can see them oh there's one Look, wolves. So cool. <gasps> wow. Uh, wolves are like one of my favorite animals. I absolutely love it. Look how... Excuse me. Rude. I was standing here. <laughs> no, but let's just... Let's go into the habitat. Wow. I can't get over how pretty wolves are. And they'll... Like, I'm allergic to dogs, but... You know, I love wolf dogs as well. So, amazing. Again, very natural habitat, trying to do as much as natural borders as I possibly could. They have this giant cave system and you can look from them on the like the downside, it could be like eye level. You can also go stand on the top level, which glass roof, you have beautiful static so you can have like an overlook view. Is that a puppy? <gasps> it's a puppy! Oh, That might be the thumbnail. That is so cute! Ah, Adorable! Also have a feeling a lot of things are going wrong with my zoo at the moment. Let's uh... Dangerous fighting. Yeah, I don't really care at the moment. 
So let's go back to the main road. Also, look, wolf. <laughs> I did some amazing decoration here. Let's go here. Let's follow our main road. So these are the two roads leading up to the wolf habitat. You can see here as well, wolves. Let's follow this path. You have this beautiful scenery everywhere. A lot of natural uh, paths, obviously. Waterfalls, broken trees. Here we are going to the jaguar habitat. Now let's see if we can actually... Oh, there's one. Let's see what he's going to do. Wow, jaguars are such an amazing creature. You just hear them. I need total awe by them. I believe this is the male one. Yeah, it is. There should be a female in here as well. Oh, there she is. Look, she actually has a prey. Wow. Love it. So they have this giant habitat. Like this, they have this entire side, which I uh, uh, handmade. They go underneath this tunnel. And then they actually have this side as well. This lovely water area here. Luckily, they can't really go up high here because, you know, no barriers. And then here as well, there is our keeper taking care of them. And if you want to have a spectacular look at our jaguar, you can go through this one. You can actually see them on both sides. We are not going to go through this one, though. We are going to go to the cave that is to the right. Here we have one final viewing point, one of the final A, fine A viewing point for our llamas, where you can see them. You can hear a lot of information speakers, so you're gonna get informed. This way is the way to the food court, you know, with the golden streets. We're gonna take a little like detour, lovely waterfall. We're going to go into the cave, which is lit by these torches and is again a viewing point for our llamas. See, you can see all the llamas. You can see them jumping, crawling around. There you go, that was our little uh, hideaway through our small cave. And then to the left, ladies and gentlemen, you will have this amazing view of the two llamas. And I absolutely love it. It's like a more deserty area. You can see them on top kissing. And this is basically just a giant food court. And I absolutely love the way that this turns out. We'll go that way in a minute. Or actually, we'll circle it. There you go. You have a lot and a lot, a lot of food courts. Like a lot of shops, toilets everything you need and also we have a uh, staff area on the back here with a keeper's hut some water and power and a staff lounge so you see them going off and from this they can go to all the different habitats so let's just go back here oh, you see that reflection there we go and we are actually as you see we have the saltwater crocodile maybe we can oh look there Ooh, we have two. I believe there's a little one in the water as well. Let's see. Well, this is the, obviously the dad. Oh, wait, they're locks. No, they're not. Look at him swimming. You can hear the sprinkler system. Now, this habitat was so much trouble. Look, there's a baby. Because obviously I built this giant food court first and then this habitat was connected to the habitat next to it, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. And it was just, if you want to see all the struggle, go watch the speed build. It is up on the channel and there's a link in the description and will also be linked at the end of this video. So right here we have this lovely, I don't know, like rock scenery stuff, which is actually quite pretty. I quite like it with a little bit of fountains. And here we are having the slow transfer from uh, Latin America into the African wonder, if I may say. So we are going to have a view here of the Komodo dragon. See if we can see them in our habitat. Look, there's one swimming there. And I believe they are in the cave. Yes, they are. They're here in this cave. You can hear a lot of babies being born, which I'm not surprised because there are a lot of animals in here. There we go. It's more of our crocodile. And in here, you have this little pathway in between the uh, habitats. Now we are walking over the giant anteater. 
And I believe... Look, there's one. Let's just go into the habitat. I believe there's one drinking as well. Yeah, look, we caught one swimming. Oh, is it going off to the ball? That would be amazing if we were, to s we were able to see that. Let's see what he does. Is he going for the ball? He is completely ignoring the ball. Okay, oh well. You know what? Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. So here we have this waterfall. It's coming out of the rocks. You can see I'm kind of obsessed with waterfalls. Also, all this vegetation. This is possibly one of my favorite habitats that I've made. Just because it looks so natural. I'm absolutely in love with it. So, let's go to the African section. Again, to our right, we have the Komodo Dragon. Let's see where we're going at. Komodo Dragon, Nalmancer, and Safari. Ooh, I, I, I know that I built it, but I'm already excited for it, which is, I know, kind of crazy. But look at all these rock formations. Beautifully, um, well, made up. Let's walk over to here. So, down again, we have the Komodo Dragon, which isn't in the water anymore. Oh, well. <gasps> Litter, and there's a bin right there. How dare you, person. And here we actually have a view of the Nile Monitor. Let's see, look, they're in the water. There look, there's one. And the Nile Monitor, that actually is the only viewing point up there. So if you want to see the Nile Monitor, you really have to go out of your way to, to see it. You have to walk all the way up to the safari. You know, it's actually a quite fast animal. I actually quite like it. I went to the zoo like two weeks ago and there was a Nile Monitor like in person. It was quite amazing. I was, I was quite amazed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My zoo is like screaming like crazy because all the animals need taken care of, but um, it'd be like that. So here we have our giant safari. Look, and they have little ones. Let's um, ride one of the trucks, really. So here we have a queue. Can we still get in? Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go, look! All the little ones. So cute and they're eating all the little giraffes. We have like a lot of giraffes in here. If we look to the other side. More giraffes and buffaloes. And I believe there is a buffalo on the track. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, we're gonna stop. I believe there's something on the track. Okay, hang on. Let me check what's actually on the track. Oh no, an animal died. Ah, Cusco died. It's like my favorite llama. Let's see, why are you on the track? Are you dead? No, get away. I want to sit in the front train. There we go, and I want to have... This seat. Oh man, I accidentally clicked it away. There we go. There we go, we're finishing our safari tour. I'm actually surprised, like we have the African buffalo in here. We have the zebras and the giraffes. And I thought they had another animal, but now I can't really remember. And they're all on that side. You see the giant ass waterfall there? <gasps> oh look! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I built this thing myself, but I have to say, my viewing points are on point because you can see every single thing here. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It also makes me look like it's really is this safari-like. With all these like shelters here where they can just sleep and eat. You know, and do other stuff. <laughs> ah, and then we're already at the end. Like it was a short safari tour, but it was quite a fun safari tour, wasn't it? Here we are going to the tunnel. And actually when you exit the tunnel you were already at the beginning make sure you don't hit your head there we go we're at the end of the ride so we are going to get off the train or get off the cart and we're actually going to ex um, i'm going to show you guys a secret oh look at a toy a secret hide it ah this is where all these zebras are they're all in here so you can go over it which we'll do in a minute but also here you go to the other side of the safari habitat so down a tunnel for the animals and we as people and guests can actually go up here and enjoy this lovely overview 
where you have to your right this amazing habitat where you can see a lot of animals and to your left you know rock formations and other habitats also this is quite a high way up it is quite a climb with a lot of stairs you need to do you can actually see a lot of the zoo from here you can actually see already the elephants and back there we have the lions but first we're going to have a look in our this section of our safari which i don't think actually there are a lot of animals I believe they're all to the other side. It used to be the African uh, buffalo habitat, but I connected the two. So I think we have one buffalo. Are you sleeping? Yeah, you're moving. Good. Whew, for a moment I thought he died. And here this beautiful rock formation again. Absolutely in love with it. So if you want to know how I did that, watch the video. Here we have this little food court with some toilets, all custom made. And then we are... Oh, balloon. Pop it. And then we are going right alongside of our big lake now this lake is gigantic and it's so big that i actually um put some of it with the um african elephant habitat which i'm actually quite a big fan of i mean look at them you can see them look no one's getting up nice absolutely in love and I believe, look, there's the giant anteater. We made a circle because here again we have the jaguar. So if we look at the signs, African lion and elephant, well, let's go that way. So this will be the way from the exiting from the jaguar. Oh, I got a donation. Thank you, good sir. Now you can see we're adding the African section, so we're going to have a different pathing. And the African elephants also have multiple viewing places. You have one that follows the route up here or down there. And let's go up here for a moment. This rock work, it took me like forever, like 45 minutes to do every single one because I wanted it to be perfect. And I'm quite proud with the way it turned out. Also, it's very quiet up here. It's quiet uptown. Wow. Did I just make a Hamilton reference? Yes, I did. You can also see another food court right there because, um, you know, you kind of need it. You don't want to starve on your visit to the zoo. And here you can see the elephants. Oh, they have a small one. Oh, he's pooing. Animals always do this to me. Whenever I look at them, they just poo. Ah, uh, You're cute, aren't you? This one is actually throwing sand. Look, it's running. Oh. I can't get over the fact how cute they are. Absolutely love it. Here we have another one that's just going to sleep. Together with mom. Oh, this one is uh, rubbing his bottom. Because, you know, um, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, look, he's standing in the shower. That's cute. I love it. So they have this big habitat, obviously because they're elephants. They have enormous water space. They also have a sleeping area here. And then if we go to this side, we're actually gonna go past the lion. So let's go past the lion. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Here we have the lion habitat. Now the lion habitat might be one of the most ridiculously large habitats that I've ever built. You can see them actually, you see them running. Let's uh, also... This fence is broken. Um, mechanic, hello. Let's uh, let's go in. Let's uh, let's see that. Let's see where they are. You can see. Oh look, baby lion. Also, you're roaring. Look. Are you gonna do something? No. Okay. Aww. So cute. That might be a thumbnail. Man, I have so many ideas for thumbnails. Ah, uh, Look, he's playing with his mom. And she's just like, no, go away. Love it. So look, there's that. That's the one male lion. I think... How many lions do we actually have in here? I believe we have, let's see, 
We have 33 lions in here. That is a lot. That is quite a lot. We also have like some baby lions here. They have two sleeping areas. They have one sleeping area here. Oh, there's so many baby lions. There's so many lionesses. Wow. And then they have this sleeping area here, which um, my hay got deleted. Well, that sucks. And there's a lot of them in here as well. Now, I have to be honest with you. Um, why did half of my things get deleted? What is this? Something is wrong, guys. Why? There used... Okay. So there used to be a lot of climbing area here. You can see that actually in the speed build. I don't know why it's not here anymore. That's confusing. Let's hope that didn't happen with any of my other habitats as well. Because that would suck. So that is the lion habitats. Let's go this way. There is a tree on the way. Uh, careful. Also those speakers. Ooh, wow, so many information. Let's go past the tree. We don't want to accidentally knock that over. Lazy, like we just came from the African, uh, West African lion. We had the African elephant. Now we are going to the doll sheep and the polar bear. You can already see our doll sheep here. I hope that they have a baby. I made this habitat on purpose a little bit on the rocks. And I absolutely love it. Okay, you can actually use all of this. And I feel like it's so cute. I love it. It's not as big because I don't really need a lot of space. But I just love the way it looks. Oh, we have a little one. Ah. Uh, that is cute. Are you going to do something? I want you to, to run or like, do whatever. Walking is fine as well. No. Let's... Ah, she wants bear. Cute. Love it. Oh, I was just born as well. Well, aren't we in luck? And next to the doll sheep, we actually have our polar bear. And I believe we have a baby polar bear as well. Let's just uh, go into the habitat. And see if we can spot it. Uh, this is that. Oh, there it is. We have two. Look. And she's swimming. I believe it's a she. Let's uh, let's let's check. Yeah. Oh, he. Never mind. Oh gosh, my PC don't crash. Whew. And this is also a male. Ah, they're twins. With mom. That is cute. Look at them go swimming with mom. I'm surprised there aren't any more guests here. That is so cute. So they have like a bit of a snowy area. I quite like it. I feel like it's really well made. Even if I say so myself. Especially with the terrain because you can actually see it going from shallow to deep. I love it. Where are you going mom? Look, and they're, they're, her cups are following her. That is cute. She's going out of the water. Absolutely love it. And they're going out there. Love it. Oh, I thought we had another one, but that was just a giant snowball. Well, okay. Are they going to go out? Are they going to go in between the bushes? Yes. Aww. This is so cute. Lovely. Oh, and they're going in again because their mom went in. That's so cute. They're following like their mom. So here we have our Himalayan brown bear. <gasps> it's actually right at the glass here. Wow. You can actually follow it really well here. You can see a mighty animal. Oh, wow. You can hear it. Can you hear it? It's crazy. So that was the dad. So we actually have a um, hallway here. Which goes down to their sleeping area. Make sure we don't hit our head. I'm curious. Is anyone here? I believe they also had a little one. Yes! 
look with mommy. That is cute. How old is this little one? Let's see. Uh, almost four. That is very cute. Oh no, my giraffe died. That's sad. Poor Zabadiah. At least we still have you. Ooh, where are you? There you are. That's very cute. Look, and here's the mom sleeping. Oh, I thought this was her head. Never mind. Oh, look, there's dad coming. Family picture. So, they can actually climb up here. Like, a lot of it is traversable area for them, which is quite happy. They have a very rocky area. Um, it may look very big, but actually the traversable area isn't as big as you would expect it. So, you know, there is that. And you can walk all over this habitat and all around it. Let's go uh, on the path. And I actually really like the way that all the plants are looking. I feel like it's really cozy and, you know, familiar. I like it. Well, some of them are crooked, some of them aren't. So here you see this was the first habitat that I built when we actually had the new vending machines. So uh, let's follow uh, our path this way. And I believe we are coming to the African bison, American bison. Also, why is there a tree on this path? What is up with the trees in this game? What is wrong with my save file? There you go, a beautiful rock formation again. There have the viewing points for our timber wolves. It's a staff facility, some water. Let's, uh, let, let's get down here. Let's see, there you go. There's our West, West American Buffalo or American Buffalo. I always want to say African Buffalo, but it's not. There you go. Can we actually see them again? Oh, they're all in the back there. Oh, there they are. A lot of them are in the back, though. Don't believe there are any here. Oh, there's one here. Aren't we lucky? Let's go in. Is he taking a mud bath? That would be kind of cool. I don't believe he's going to. No, he's not. Okay, well. So be it. So... Let's go uh, past our capuchin monkey habitat. Again, what up with the trees on the pathway? I didn't place them there, at least I don't think I did. There you go, a lot more people walking through walls. Oh, it's like the baby. Oh, it's drinking with his mom. At least I hope that's the mom. I'm not quite sure, I don't really see anything. Well. Ah, <gasps> cute! Cute. I'm taking so many screenshots, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna call a keeper because you're quite hungry. Oh, there we go. Into our crowded area. Let's push our way through. Because we have uh, one final animal to see, which is our rat panda. Look at all these people donating money. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, look, they're here. We have one, two, three, four. They're overcrowded. Six of them are in here. And they actually have a really tiny habitat because, you know, they're tiny animals. They don't really need a lot of space. So you have this small inside habitat. Oh, they're making noises. Also, this one is eating. Or it was. Cute. I keep saying cute, but I really think it's cute. Yeah, they're way overcrowded. Um, you can go. Let me just uh, take care of this. You can go. Why are there guests inside my habitat? Oh, that's actually a juvenile. Okay, you can't go. But you can. Uh, you can as well. Did I make a mistake? Oh, well, now he's alone. Oh, well. <laughs> Who cares? And they actually have, like, that small inside there. And then they have this one, which is quite, you know, small. Small little water. There's some custom trees, which aren't my best trees, to be honest. But, you know, um, I tried. I really did. And then here... Oh, my, so many people. We have pizza pan, toilets, you know, very important. I can hear the waterfall, you know, it's lovely when you're on the toilet. And then we have our other staff facilities. We have this 
research lab workshop and something which I forgot to put a path to, which explains why I couldn't actually enter it. Oh well. Things have not been going great. There we go. And guys, that is our Woodland Zoo. So I'll give you an overview again. I don't think we've missed anything. Let's just uh, double check. We had the Capuchin Monkeys. This is the Buffalo, the Red Pandas. Our Timber Wolves are here. I actually like the way of this overview is going. Some staff facilities. Lovely landscaping all around. Here we have our Himalayan brown bear together with our polar bear. And next to our polar bear we have our doll sheep. Then... Why is my camera so slow? I feel like my computer is going to crash. We have our lion, our elephant, jaguar here, giant anteater, old safari, now monitor kimono dragon crocodile. Ooh, you see the space, the space of, of the ugh, the speed of that crocodile. And we have our llamas, guys. That's it. I can't believe, like this is 17 episodes long. Wow. Also, I know that I didn't have a speed level of the doll sheep. Uh, that's because I actually lost the footage because I um I don't know why it's just gone. I can't find it anywhere. So I guess I'm just that stupid. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will leave you with some end cinematics as well, just like we did at the beginning. And I will hope that you guys enjoyed it and you actually you know, want to see more of this Planet Zoo series on my channel. So if you do, do make sure you give it a big thumbs up, uh, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you want to. Like it really helps the YouTube algorithm uh, to make my channel more noticeable and that more people see it. So if you could do that, that'd be great. And guys, um, next week we are starting a new zoo. Like I said in my previous video, I am going to cut my upload schedule from four videos to three videos a week. Just, you know, because I'm still working it out with work and private life and everything. So instead of four or three, it may be sometimes a bonus video, but you will get notified on Twitter when I do that. And I will hope to see you guys on the next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.